What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trend Genius. At you again with another divine video that's specially crafted for chosen ones and chosen ones only. Um, if you're not a chosen one, I don't expect you to watch this video to the end because it's just not going to resonate with you. It's going to bother you. It's going to get up under your skin. All right. So this video is for chosen ones only. Also, if you stay to the end of this video today, I have something very, very special for you at the end of this video if you stay to the end. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel after this video is over with. And folks, please be aware there are scammers and stuff out there pre pretending to be me, sending y'all messages, telling telling y'all to WhatsApp me, telling y'all to message me. Folks, I would never tell y'all to message me <laughs> or, you know, or sell you to WhatsApp me or Telegram me anything, folks. So be aware of scammers out there, y'all. All right, so let's get into this topic, man. A subscriber hit me up yesterday and he was like, big bro trend, how do I cut people off? I feel bad if I cut people off. So shout out to my brother out there to send me an email because he inspired this uh, video right now what I'm about to talk about, all right? Listen, folks, if you a true chosen one, you are a targeted individual. And I don't mean like, when I say target, I don't mean like somebody after you or they hunting you down like the, 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 the Israelis and the Hamas or something like that. Nah, it ain't nothing dangerous or nothing like that. All right. It's more about your energy. All right. It's more about taking your energy from you. All right. Trying to steal your, trying to steal your, your, your vibe, your vibration. All right. Chosen one, you are a targeted individual because you you have a pure con pure heart pure consciousness meaning you don't have no intention to do nobody wrong okay I, that's why i say i don't know who chosen ones are but if you resonate with what i'm saying then you know who i'm talking to like if you're a true chosen one you don't you try not to do bad you don't want to do bad to people you know you try to watch your words you know you just try to be a really righteous person in all your ways you try to Make sure you pray over your food. You know what I mean? You try to, you try to, you the type of person to check up on people to make sure they, they got what they need, or you the type of person you give to people if they really need it. You know, that's who you are. You a chosen person, right? But at the same time, that could make you a targeted individual. Okay. You could be targeted because it's a lot of people out here who, you know, take your kindness for granted, you know, and, most of the time, you're going to find yourself in situations with people that's that's attached to you. They stuck to you. They draining you. They, they taking your energy from you. They, they taking your hard earned resources from you. You know, and you find yourself in this rut with these people. And it's like, it's hard to get out of situationships. You know what I'm saying? And this could be anybody. This could be family members, cousins. Uh, this could be your ex-boyfriend. Anybody. All right. Most of the time, these people are clinging to you. I know from a woman, I'm going to tell it from a woman's standpoint and I'm going to tell it from a man's standpoint, okay? But most of the time, the reason why, you know, these people are clinging to you is because they are benefiting off of your high-level vibrations, all right? They are benefiting off of your, your good blessings, all right? If you've chosen, then you are a child of the Most High God, right? So that means that all things happen for those who believe in the most high God. All things happen for you because you doing the right thing all the time. You always trying to do the right thing. Remember, you don't have a negative spirit. You don't have a negative bone in your body. All right. And if you do, it's by accident or by mistake. All right. And so these people notice that, you know, it's a lot of people who know that you are kind. They know that you will give them your resources they they know that you work hard for what you got but they only thing on their mind is to take it from you you see what i'm saying they know you you don't worked on yourself and you don't develop your your emotional stability you know excuse me but you're gonna get around people who emotionally unstable and they will they will thrive off of your happiness like you gotta understand people really do this stuff y'all it's people out here trying to steal your happiness from you because you always happy. You know what I mean? Ladies, 
You're going to have a lot of chicks that come into your life and your reality if you're a woman because she see that you're beautiful. Or you might even look beautiful than her. But she will want to hang with you because, not because she really want to be your friend. And that's probably why you find her out to be fake after a while. Not because she necessarily want to be your friend, but because she is using you for your image so it can boost her own image. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You going most of the guys, if you're a woman, most of the guys that you come in contact with, it's very rare that you're going to run into a guy that you really want that like you um, because he want to marry you or, you know, he really see the greatness in you or something. You know what I mean? He really trying to cultivate you and he trying to, he trying to mold you and shape you into being, you know, that highest potential person that you, you, you see yourself as, you know, it's, it's very rare that you're going to run into a man that think about you like that. Okay. Most of the guys that get with you, they really just either want to get with you to get in your pants, you know, so it'll boost their confidence about themselves or they just really want you to be like, um, you know, like the girl with the girls that, 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 that go to the boxing matches with the, with the high roller and stuff like that. Like, like a show girl, you know what I mean? They might want you to be a showgirl, like, oh, look what I got. Look, look, she she bad. She she clean up nice. Her makeup done right. She tall. She got a long neck and broad shoulders. <laughs> you know, whatever, man. You know, I mean, this guy's out here to really just get a woman because he want to show her off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's keep it real. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of black guys out here, white women. It's a lot of black guys out here that. They get with white women because they want to make the black woman mad. I mean, and, you know, sometimes they, sometimes a black man to get with a white woman because he want to show everybody that he 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 capable of, of of white privilege too. He can get white privilege too. Failing to realize he got black privilege. You know, but like I'm saying, I'm just I'm just not trying to go off on a, a tangent. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying all this to say, most of the time people are not with you for the reasons that you think that they with you. Remember folks, people can say what they want to say to you. They'll put stuff in your ear, put a, put a, put a battery in your back. But when stuff hits the fan, these people show what they really about and you notice it and you be like, yo, he just put his hands on me. Like he just really hit me. Like what? Like, or, you know, like, like, yo, she just really flirted with my boy in front of me. Like, yes, this is what they, they whole intention was most people's intentions when they get with you is to, is to come up off of you. They see something that you got. They see your value, your value, and they like trying to get it out you. If you're a man that make good money, most of the time you're not going to run into women that really want to be your wife. You might be running once in a lifetime. You're running into women that want to be your like wife if you got bread and stuff. Most of the time they see that you got the bag and they want to go get their nails done. They want you to take them to the movies. They want you to pay for the dinner time. They want you to take them to the high-end restaurant because they know you got money. You see what I'm saying? But the reason why I'm that's why I'm saying you target it most of the time because if you're a true chosen one, you know what I mean? Like if you're a true chosen one, then you're a good person. You're a person and you kind of like wear your heart on your sleeve, kind of like sort of, and it's hard for you to say no. And these Decepticons, they know that. They know you're going to tell them, yeah. They, they know you're going to let them come over. They they know you're going to try to take the bait. They know this. They know you're going bite to the, bite the um, hook. You know what I mean? They just throw it out there. And just, they know you're going to, they, they expect you to, to catch it. But that's why I'm saying since you know you targeted, though, you got to learn how to cut people off that's using you. Because most of the time, the feelings that you're feeling, it ain't really nothing to do with how you feel, how you feel as an individual, as a personality. Most of the time, the stuff that you're going through right now in your life is because you connected to people that's making you feel bad, dog. You connected to people that 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 take they till they stealing your energy, bro, and they not giving it nothing back. You know what I mean? They 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 sucking up your time, and, and they sucking up your hard-earned resources, but they don't really never do nothing for you. You know what I mean? She kick it with you. When she feel like it's your turn, bro, and, 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 she, and she don't never cultivate you, she not motivating you, she not pushing you, she not putting no cookies back into your jaw. You feel me? She not making you uh, hot, hot, hot dinners at night. 
You understand? She didn't she didn't go to uh Macy's and get you uh three pairs of socks or nothing. So she ain't doing nothing but taking from you, dog. And it's draining you. And like I say, this go both ways, men and women. I'm just trying to get y'all to understand. You got to get in the habit of cutting people off. That's why a chosen one circle is supposed to always be small. And the reason why your circle so small, yo, is because, you know what I mean? Like, it's because you know you give out too much energy to, to too many people. You know you the type of person, you feel like you got to step up for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, you, you feel like you got to be the one to oversee everybody. And don't don't feel bad because I'm talking about you. But that's because you got a kind heart, bro. You feel like you got to serve everybody. You want to make sure everybody in the room got a plate except for yourself. You want to make sure everybody else, bills paid and they can do their finances in, in shape. But except for you. And that's why I'm saying you got to end that. You got to stop that. You got to cut that off. You got to stop it because it's ruining your future and it's ruining your blessings. You know what I mean? Cut people off. Get in the habit of keeping your circle small. Keep your circle small to where you only got like a few people that you deal with, that you associate with. That way you can, you know, you can control the situation versus people controlling you. But if you got like so many people that you dealing with and they all in your ear, they... They always telling you about this and that, and they always telling you about their problems with their relationships, and you, this friend wants you to come hang out with her on a vacation trip, and this friend right here wants you to come out to them for girls' night out. This buddy right here, he wants you to go to the gym with him. This buddy right here, he wants you to watch the games with him so y'all can bet on the games tonight. Bro, you got too much going on. That's why your energy be draining. That's why you be feeling depressed like that because you giving your energy out to too many baskets. You feel me? Everybody getting filled up with your presence but you. Everybody getting filled up with your good graciousness but you. And it ain't being selfish when you cut people off. You just got to cut them off for your well-being. You trying to do you trying to do positive stuff in your life. You trying to change your life. You trying to create a legacy. You trying to take care of your kids. You ain't got time to babysit these people. You understand what I'm saying? And like I say, it's going to make people go, and then when you do do it, they're going to make you feel like you're doing something bad. Uh, they're going to start crying and they're going to start uh, calling you back to back continuously. They're going to they gonna tell spread rumors about, yeah, he did that, and he ain't did that, and he doing that, and he doing that. They're going to do all that stuff. Why? Because you cutting off the, they supply. They benefit. Why you think when Israel knew went to war with uh, Gaza and them, what the first thing they do? They cut off they supply, bro. They ain't stupid. They cut the water supply off. They cut the food supply off. The hospital goods, everything. That's how you overcome. Cut off people. Cut the circulation off. That way they won't benefit off of you. You know what I mean? Like, the, and like I say, half of the, you, you know who these people is by the fruit that they bear. What are they doing for you? Ask yourself that question before you cut this person off. That's how you know you cut somebody off or not. What are they doing for you? If it ain't, if you can't think of nothing they doing for you, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Cut them off, bro. You a, you a target, and they, they targeting you, and they using you, bro. I'm sorry, but they using you for your, for something. Don't give it to them no more. Comment below and say I'm not giving, them to, giving it to them no more. All right? Also, folks... A lot of people ask me, they be like, Big Bro Trend, man, how you make so many videos, bro? How you so confident and come up with so much content creation? What, how did you get to this point in your life? Listen, y'all, I got here because I use binaural beats. I used to listen to binaural. I still do sometimes, but not as much as I used to. But I used, I used to listen to binaural beats um, and frequency tones like every night before I went to bed. Like literally, I would have headphones in my ears and I would go to sleep at night listening to like affirmations on how to get money affirmations on how to release fear affirmations on how to be more relaxed like i used to listen to all these different affirmations as i go to bed and these um these subliminal frequencies and stuff like 128 hertz 144 hertz the miracle tone 528 hertz stuff like that and it changed my mind and it changed the way i think i'm free now like i'm free when it comes down to my limit my limitations i don't have no limitations i can do whatever whenever i want to do it because i renew my mind you know what i'm saying in the word it says be renewed by the train be transformed by renewing your mind and that's what you got to do in order to like be 
free of limitations, okay? And it'd be out the matrix. So with that being said, listen, y'all, if you want to be free of limitations, you want to you want to let raise your consciousness, okay? You want to be able to think clearly and get rid of all the negative stuff that you're thinking in your life that be bothering you, get one of them subliminals below. Look in the comment section at the top. You're going to see uh, me and my me and my buddy Mark, we created some subliminals and stuff, some affirmations that you can listen to at night. And boy, they work, okay? Get you one of those. Also, if you haven't got the information for the Chosen Ones and the Star Seeds, all those secret videos that I have and that secret information, shh, I'm not putting this stuff on YouTube. It's in the Lost Star Seeds and Chosen Ones archives, okay? The Lost Information for the Star Seeds and the Chosen Ones get volume five, six, and seven right now. Thank me later because it's gonna blow your mind when you when you get it and what you see in the, inside the um inside the archive inside that course. All right. With that being said, remember, chosen ones, you targeted. They they praying on you because you're a good person, and they don't want nobody else to take your take take benefits from you because that's what they get. Cut off their supply. All right. Focus on yourself. All right. Focus on making your life better. Focus on being healthy. Focus on leveling up yourself. Okay, and that's the only way you can get into a position to where you start to worry about somebody else. All right. With that being said, it's your big brother trend. Subscribe, man. Leave a comment below. Peace.